Hi guys, I'm Frank from the Food Bar Restaurant. I'm going to show you how to make a killer little sauce for your steak. So my meat is cooked and it's resting. Remember, very important, the meat needs to rest for about half the time that it's cooked in order to be juicy and for the juice to stay in the steak. Now, my pan is still hot. I've just taken the meat out. So I'm going to deal with it by making a little mushroom sauce. So I've got beautiful brown mushrooms. I'm just going to chop those up as they come. It doesn't have to be too complicated. And you don't want too much, just a little bit of flavor. Because they'll shrink quite nicely as well. Garlic clove, smash it a bit. Take the skin off. And give it a good chop. And again, the mushrooms can go directly in the pan. So I've kept, remember we finished, when we finished cooking the steak, I kept all this, all the juices from the steak in the pan. I'm gonna fry the mushrooms. I'm not gonna put the garlic in yet. I want the garlic to have that nice raw flavor about it. Basically holding the stem and then you're pulling, pulling down to separate the little lead from the thyme. But thyme grows so easily. I mean, you can even have it on your windowsill. So it's really no excuse. Okay, so it looks a bit dry. I don't want it to look too dry. So I'm gonna add a little oil to that. Everybody loves a mushroom sauce. It can be a pepper and mushroom sauce. The minute the mushroom starts to relax a little bit, they start to release a bit of the raw moisture. I'm going to deglaze. I'm going to deglaze with good, good brandy. You could, you could deglaze with port. Uh, you could deglaze with Madeira. You could deglaze with whiskey even. I don't know if you can see, there's a, there's a little area in the center of the pan where the meat was touching. It's still a bit... I'm just going to step away from the flame because that will catch the light. It's going to want to plumb it. I'm going to run the brandy until it's completely dry. And I'm going to put the garlic in. Fresh garlic flavor coming in. Okay, the garlic is cooked enough. You get the cream. Sauce in minutes. Now you see my steak has been resting here. Look at that. Look at those juice coming out of the steak. So that goes straight into the sauce. And then all we do now is we're just gonna let that reduce until the point that the texture, the, the consistency of the sauce is nice and silky. I'm gonna want quite a bit of pepper in there personally. Just strong rubber flavors. This is my steak. Also, I'm also gonna put a little bit of fresh parsley at the end. I love a little bit of fresh parsley in the sauce. So just put it together on the board, give it a rough chop. Beautiful. So as you can see, the sauce is bubbling away in the pan and because I'm using a, a, a decent sized pan, um, the, the, the sauce is thinly spread on the bottom of the pan. So if you let it bubble away and reduce it, you'll get to the right, to, to the right consistency. You know, if you like it very thick, concentrate it a bit more. Just remember that it's going to concentrate in flavor. Therefore, maybe you watch for the salt as well. So while the sauce finishes, make sure I've got the last, last bit in there. So I'll reduce that so you can finish cooking while I slice. So here, a beautiful piece of meat. So now look at this. Not only, not only the meat is warm inside, but the juice, it's not bleeding at all on the board. Okay, so the juice, from having rested properly, the juice stays in the meat. And here you've got your perfect steak. So what I'm gonna just finish that, put it on the plate. One last check for salt and pepper. Maybe a tiny bit more salt. Put some on top. Now you serve that with sauté potatoes. Maybe a little green salad on the side. Happy days. Talking about happy days, I'm gonna have to give it a try, guys. Mm. Beautiful.
Good brandy makes a big difference. 